welcome to another vid and let's crank it <laughs> so that is um, the coca-cola intro so if you're a hardcore game gear fan I'm sure you're gonna know this straight away but what you might not know is that this is um, the English translation of a game that I absolutely love on this system and it's very exciting to be able to share it with you. This is Coca-Cola Kid. <laughs> so this is the uh, English translation of Coca-Cola Kid. It's a totally unofficial translation done by SMS Power. Um, I think it was back in 2007 if I go by the date. Um, basically, it's the exact same game, but they've used the font for something, you know, for I think some state screen or something or some extra thing, and they've used that to illustrate the story. Um, they've, because of the limits on the characters or something, the actual um, story is kind of pretty straightforward, but it kind of gets the job done. So let's play this properly. So it uses a kind of modified Sonic 2 Game Gear Master System engine of some sort. Um, there's a lot of similarities between the two. In fact, I think it was developed by the same peoples. So the general gist of it is get to the end of the stage and basically pick up loads of stuff and do it in a quite a, you know do it in a fast time. And you get a bonus. Uh, and that's it. You basically kick the baddies' backsides and you collect um, coins and they can be used to get up power ups, upgrades, all that kind of crap later on in the game. There's secret areas too. Um, surprised that this didn't get a Western release, it had all the hallmarks of, of you know, coming out. I mean, it's, uh, it's a product placement dream in it really it's just it's a wet dream for coca-cola in it it's a great way of selling product but um you know it didn't i don't think it came out of thingy i don't think it came out of japan um you know gameplay wise you can see for yourself it's just a straight up platform game and the general gist of it is just to get to the end as i say no there's some interesting quirks in it which make it kind of fun and interesting and um, the fact that you can sort of bounce off platforms and there's a little bit of acrobatics going on there in terms of the jumping and such makes it kind of cool. The fact that you get to the way in which you attack your baddies is kind of cool as well. Um, there's even a little skateboard there, look. Very much uh, Adventure Island in inspired, <laughs> it would appear. And um, basically it's just a case of getting to the end. And I'm going to get to the end and level complete. Now, um, the Game Gear that they released, they released, I think it was like, it was over a limited edition or a general release or something in Japan. But one of the packs that they did was uh, a Coca-Cola kid game with a red, a Coca-Cola red Game Gear. Now that is just, oh... That is like fried gold to me. I love it. If I had one of those, I'd be in hog heaven. I'd love it. Whoa. So, that's pretty much the game, guys. Basically, can't really tell you anything exciting about it other than what I've said um, I'm sure you guys and especially the Game Gear fans out there I'm sure they've seen this game, I'm sure they've you know, I'm, I, I can't think of many people that dislike the game, I mean even people that don't necessarily like platform games get a little bit of a kick out of it because the central character is kind of interesting and cool, um, but then again I don't know, um, a lot of people say that the game's kind of samey but swings and roundabouts in it guys, horses for courses and all that, Um I enjoy the game. Um, I don't get bored of it. 
uh, even though I've kind of gone through the game a couple of times uh, and completed it once. Whoa, nearly died then. The game plays fair, and that's why I think the game stood the test of time. The game plays really fair with you. It doesn't, you know, trick you or, or make you feel like an idiot, you know. And the gameplay mechanics work, and that's cool, and that's what we like. The only downside is... Oh, I did it. Yeah. <laughs> and like I say, you don't, you know... The game has a very forgiving nature about it. You don't, you know, unless you make a really dumb, clumsy, you know, mistake, you don't get penalised heavily. And that's it. That's the gist of it, guys. Right? I've been after this game for ages as well. I saw it playing before, and I was just years ago. We're talking years ago. We're talking like ninety six, ninety seven. I saw this game running, and I was just like, wow. Right, let's see if I can take care of this boss before I say goodbye to you. Oh, no. Ah, ah, ah. I'm toast. Damn! Right, let's see if I can waste this boss. Right, because there's a trick to it. Basically, you stand near him and just keep hitting him in the crotch. And he goes down real easy. There we go. So he's toast. Miss Sakurako isn't here. Try looking in the park. So with the coins that I've raised, I've got nine coins. So basically I can go ahead and, like, if I had ten coins, I could get, like, a life up for my life up meter or whatever. I haven't, so I'm just going to leave the coins and just carry on. So there's a little bit of tactics there. Central park. <laughs> kind of amusing. But, um... So the pack level, classic Sonic Fair kind of thing, uh, classic platform gameplay fair to be honest with you. Now, um, don't bother me, love it, same kind of thing again, and you just get on with it. So there you go guys, that, I'm going to leave it there, I'm going to call it a vid, that's basically Coco Code Kid running on the Game Gear, a great game, um, a bit of a classic, a uh, bit timeless from my point of view, um, something that I can come back to and enjoy every so often. And I thoroughly recommend that if you've got a game gear, you find some way of tracking this down. And the jewel in the crown would be to be able to get uh, this game with a red game gear. That would just be sweet awesome. But anyway. Alright guys, have a good one and see you on the next.